Let's get started. All right, you guys, I just got two boxes in the mail and I wanted to unbox them in front of, oh, in front of you guys because they're gonna really improve my videos. And if you saw the thumbnail already, you probably already know what this is. But without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. We are going to be unboxing this MV7 podcast microphone. Welcome to Better Sound. That is what we like to see. You guys, this is insane. Okay, so I gotta be careful because this is the actual mic part. So it comes in this nice packaging like so. This is super nice looking, you guys. Look at that. I did decide to upgrade my audio. Right now I'm actually recording the audio through a lavalier mic, but I wanted to get the Shure MV7, which is this right here. So this is actually the little brother of the Shure SMB7, which is a little longer in length and also longer this way as well. And usually you do not have have the capability of turning this all the way around like so. This is the XLR input, headphone jack, and then the micro USB port. So this is the main reason why I wanted it because if I get a microphone where it needs like an amplifier and a cloud lifter and all that, it's gonna add up to be a lot. This was alone just $250. They are not endorsing me by any ways and I'm just giving my honest opinion. And so far, I really like the look of this. It's super nice. Now we're gonna get to this random box right here. I got the actual Shure SM7B filter to go with the MV7 microphone. When you talk into this microphone, this top right here, it, it's okay, but it's kind of flimsy. And this one's a little bit more sturdy. And also it helps kind of filter out those P's and B's when you are talking into the microphone. So this is only $14 extra to kind of avoid that situation. And I kind of want to just be able to automate my entire audio experience. So I figured 14 bucks to have just a full-on just awesome setup with a microphone would be a great investment now that we have this i am going to go to the next box so this rode psa1 is supposed to be only a hundred dollars but on amazon right now for some reason the only option in order to get it at a reasonable time was 140 dollars and the microphone with the pop filter that was 264 total so this is the rode psa1 clamp you would just put this right there and then you can just clamp it on your desk. I watched a YouTube video of this when a guy opened this up and it kind of whacked him in the face. So I'm gonna set up with the microphone and get back to you guys. All right, so I'm back from setting up this Shure MV7 microphone. So I'm not gonna lie you guys, I recorded this yesterday unboxing it all that went good smoothly got all the audio recorded but when it came to recording what i thought about this after building it none of that audio was picked up just because i made the mistake of not actually adding this microphone to obs so i'm gonna do that now so basically my thoughts on this entire setup i'm a huge fan of it so at first building it, it was a little confusing just because it's me honestly it should not be confusing for anyone to set this up there's no screwing of anything. You don't need a screwdriver. You literally just take it out of the box, attach it to your desk with that little clamp, and then you're good to go. As you're expanding it, you just have to make sure you don't smack yourself in the face. That's one thing I noticed that you can do if you're not careful, because this thing, it has a lot of suspension to it. So technically, if this microphone right here was not attached to this boom arm, this thing would go super high up and it would be kind of crazy. So we're gonna try to avoid that from happening. Obviously with the microphone on it, it's not gonna actually happen. You can move it to wherever you want. If you want it right there, if you want it up here, great. It will move wherever you want it, which is awesome. Same with my audio. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Now, in terms of this beautiful thing right here, this is where all the magic happens. The Shure MV7 microphone. So in order to change the volume is you just go right here, and you can just swipe like this, and that's gonna allow you to decrease the volume. I'm not sure if for future videos, if I'm gonna wear headphones while doing tutorials, but it does help me hear, you know, if I'm like way over here and I can't hear myself in the microphone, but then I get closer, 
it's going to allow me to know where or not it's actually getting through the actual microphone, which is nice. You can even do ASMR with this microphone. So let's say you're wanting to put a lot of emphasis on a certain part of your video. You could be like, this is ASMR. This is for the first time ever doing ASMR. How does it sound? Or you can just talk normally, which is great too, which most people probably should do to be honest with you guys. But just know that these lights right here, super fun to play around with, super easy. It doesn't actually work how you think it does. So you may think if I go from all the way from here to here, it's going to just go from 100 to zero. Now you have to continuously swipe it in order for it to go down and continuously swipe it the other way if you want it to go back up. You see right here, there's gonna be the headphones and then the microphone. So you can obviously switch between inputs. So if I tap that, you can't see it because I got a green screen and the lights are green, so they kind of look a little wonky, but it's green right now. If I press it again, it's gonna go back to my headphones. If I hold it for two seconds, they say about, it's gonna have a split, so you can choose how much of the microphone you want here versus how much of your headphones you want here. As you can see right here, this is how you can kind of adjust the tightness of this thing so it's not like swiveling around as much. So I was just doing that here for the boom arm. This part right here, you can adjust these clamps right here. And there's another one on the other side. And that basically just allows you to tilt this upward or downward for this microphone right here. Now, in terms of boom arm itself, it goes out pretty far. And it can go down pretty low as well. So if you don't want it in the shot, you can probably make that happen, which is awesome. Also, another cool thing on this microphone, and I'm not sure how often you would do this, but maybe like you're in like a conference call, there's actually a mute button right here. So if you can see right here, you can hit that. And now you can't hear me talking, obviously. So if I try to explain what the mute button is, I'm mute. It's, it's going to be epic fail, you guys. So I'm not gonna try to do that. So the Shure MV7 usually does not come with this pop filter. It actually comes with this pop filter right here. So if you watch me unbox it, this is what was originally on the Shure MV7 microphone. But what I decided to do was buy this pop filter right here because this is supposed to get rid of all the different plosives that you say with the P's and B's in your types of talking. So if I go like puff, puff, it probably sounds like you still hear those plosives just because I'm so close to it. But if you had this on, it's going to sound even worse. And also, this little pop filter is super flimsy. And I just was watching a bunch of YouTube videos where almost every single person ended up going with this because it's only like 14, 15 bucks. I'll have a link in the description below if you want to get this extra add-on. It just came with the actual Shure MV7 microphone, which is great. So once I got the microphone, I also got the pop filter with it. Another thing to note with this is that the reason why I chose this microphone out of all the different microphones out there is one, price and the ease of use. So the fact that it's a micro USB to a USB-A or USB-C, I can just plug it directly into my laptop and then I'm good to go. I don't need an amplifier or a cloud lifter. The gain on this is pretty solid and if it's not good enough to what you like, you can easily max it out. Right now it's actually maxed out to full capacity and I'm gonna show you guys the settings in just a little bit, but the ease of use of this is insane. And then there's no actually on and off switch on the physical mic. So if you want to turn it off, you just got to plug it out of your laptop. Might be a little bit of a pain, but it's not the end of the world. It's it's super easy to do. But yeah, I, I love this thing so far. I, I am the biggest fan of it. It makes doing videos a lot more enjoyable just because it's kind of cool to hear yourself talk through the headphones. So I might keep the headphones. Let me know in the comments down below whether or not you like the headphones or no headphones. I can, you know, go either way. Another thing to note with this boom arm, it comes with these little straps right here. So as you're plugging in different cords into this actual microphone, you can hook the cords on to the straps so that they're not dangling. And that way it's just a nice and clean setup for cable management, which is awesome. All right, so another thing I wanted to share with you guys is kind of how this compares with other microphones. So in my past videos, I actually would use this microphone right here. It's kind of blended in because I'm wearing a black shirt, but it's just a simple lavalier microphone that you can clip on any article of clothing 
and then you plug it directly into your phone. So this is actually not compatible with plugging into computers. It's only compatible with phones and cameras and other devices like that, but not actual computers. So if you are wanting to get this lavalier mic, I'll have it in the description below. But I just want to do a comparison test real quick with how this sounds versus the Shure MV7 to see if I actually upgrade my sound now. My ears are not that good in really determining the difference between the sound, but I know the quality has to be better with this microphone. All right, this is a test of what the lavalier mic sounds in comparison to the Shure MV7. All right, so now we're gonna move to this Shure MV7 microphone. All right, so this is now a test of what the audio sounds like on a Shure MV7 versus a lavalier microphone. All right, so what do you guys think? I think this was around $40 to $50 versus a $250 mic. If you like the style of a lavalier microphone, go with the lavalier. I'll have a link to both in the description below if you guys are interested. The nice thing about the Shure MV7 is that all of the settings are just on a software application on your computer, how to mess around those settings and where to go to get those settings. All right, so as you can see here, I am on the site. So they actually come with instructions in the box as to where to go to download the software. I'm gonna actually link this site to download in the description below, just in case you guys do decide to get this microphone. And then all it does is ask you for your first, last name, email, country, region. I would probably say no to this, to be honest, you guys, because who wants to get spam email? And then it's just gonna pop up down here for you to download. So here is the application. It's super simple. You have two options. You have auto level, which is right here. And basically you can mute your, probably can't hear me saying you can mute your mic right here. You can choose whether or not you want to hear your mic more or if you want to hear your computer more. Maybe you're playing games and you just want to have it 50 50. That's always an option. Let's say you're near the microphone. So you need to be super close to the mic in order to talk to it, maybe in like a podcast kind of style. Or if you are far from the microphone, you can talk, you know, at a kind of okay distance from it and it'll still auto level and adjust to pick up the sound properly. If I ever did the auto level option, I would probably have it on far just because I'm not going to be talking like this all the time and going through a tutorial. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Next, we have the dark mode, natural mode and bright mode. Now, I can't really notice too much of a difference, but I'm supposed to kind of bring out the heavier tones of my voice, just how I normally talk, maybe a little bit more vibrance to my voice. Now, where I really like this application is if I went into the manual settings. So in here, basically you have the option to save any presets. So let's say I'm configuring all this and then I wanna save it. You can just save it here and then name it whatever you want. You can always go to that preset, which is awesome. In the manual settings, you can mute the mic just like you could in the auto level. You can also change the mic gain. So you can make it all the way to zero or you can slowly increase it all the way to 36. I just have it all the way to 36. This is what I've seen other people do in tutorials. Same thing with the balancing of the mic and the playback. You can do that there. EQ, so this is a little interesting. So this is just normal me talking. And then this setting is supposed to take out any background noise. This setting right here, it's supposed to boost your current voice. So it just sounds more full. And then if you do this option, it's going to remove background noise and boost the sound of your voice at the same time. So I've seen a lot of people choose this option just to kind of maximize quality of the audio. If you click on limiter, this is basically going to help avoid any clipping of your audio. If you're ever getting too loud in a certain point when you're talking, it's gonna help reduce that from ever happening. From presser, I've seen people actually boost this all the way up to heavy. It seems like that's the best way to go. Some people may disagree. Some people may just like to be on light, but I'm just gonna stick with heavy and you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think is better. All right, so those are all the settings that you can see in the software application. What are my honest thoughts? about the boom arm and the shirt mv7 well it's costly but you're going to get quality with it and i just had a unique situation happen to me in my personal life where i was able to kind of take on this purchase of buying this microphone with this boom arm and I also just really want to focus on improving the audio of my videos. Most people say to watch a video with good audio versus poor video, but not the opposite. So I'm focusing on audio first, and then with time, I will try to improve my video as well. All right, so if you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate the support. 
Also, if you're interested in learning all things related to PowerPoint, I do have a course on Udemy, so I'll link to that in the description below. But without further ado, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thanks.